I'm wrestling chaos. I actually have always said that I that, I, that chaos is the dad that I never had, but I actually, I had my dad. I had my dad for a very too short amount of time and I lost him. I've always needed to fill that void of that father figure or someone to guide me or someone to teach me, you know, this, this side of being a man, what society expects you to be, what wrestling expects you to be. And chaos taught me more than just about the wrestling. So I almost didn't make it. I had a show yesterday in Minneapolis and my flight got delayed. And so that made me miss my connection. So then I had to get on a flight that literally got me here when the show started. Man, you should have seen me at the airport. I was pacing up and down, crossing my fingers. Like I need to make my own party, like my own show. Like I need to make this. And once I got here, it was like go time. You know, like I got here and had to cut a promo and I didn't have any time to relax and take it all in. I literally got here and had to go to work. I think that's what kind of helped me keep my emotions a little bit down and a little bit in check was the fact that I just had to keep going. Chaos is the dad I never had. I owe him everything. He's really formed me into the person I am today. So to see it all come together in the match was, was, was really cool because wrestling is something that we both enjoy. You know, it was something that we both love. So to me, it was, it was more about that. He, I know I love it and, he, and I know he loves it. And he's like my best friend, my dad, and we're sharing this together. So go back and go to Florida, become the Hall of Fame that you want to become. But you know what? Your money's coming to me. Every time I do a match, and I got 10 other guys say, hey, what about me? You're not done, tell me. So, but, you know, I'm just so proud of these guys. You know, I always tell them, you guys are 20 times better than I am all this. And that's, that's from the bottom of my heart and the truth. To be able to train these guys and they have the utmost respect for me. I mean, that's, that's worth so much, you know, just building what we built from the backyard to where guys are, what guys are doing now. Jeremy and Russell Kingdom and uh, Brody at Ring of Honor. Um, but yeah, you know, so I'm just so proud of it. If he ever says I never do nothing for him, man, this is me. Like, I tell you straight up, I don't want to wrestle. <laughs>
my mom has maybe gone to a handful of shows. Like she's never really been a huge going to go watch me wrestle, which is fine. Um, I didn't know she was going to do that. So when I saw her hop in the ring, I, I didn't know what to make of it. I was like, this is this is pretty crazy. But I was proud, you know, like I wanted people to know who my mom was. following your dream is kind of unheard of in, in my family and in my culture. So I think for her to see it come to realization, it like, it teaches her a lot too. And she's like, wow, like there's a world beyond what I've known for years. And to me, that's a beautiful thing because we as humans have to grow and experience new things. And to see her do that at her age now, as I'm achieving my dream is, is really cool. It meant a lot to me because I realized like how many people I really influenced and really like helped out. Everyone has to be selfish to a certain extent to make sure that their goals are achieved and they, you know, they get to where they need to get to and they, they're financially stable, you know, all the logistics of it. But at the end of the day, like, everything I get in, I want to put out, back out, and I want to give back out. So, um, so seeing them kind of confirm that as they're, like, telling me goodbye just makes me feel good. Always support us. Please keep this, this hub alive and keep this bubble alive here because guys out here are just as talented, if not more talented. And guys like Andy Brown, who've been doing it forever, and Ray Rosas, you know, and all these guys that really care about this stuff, they'll get noticed because the, the, the fans will put them over on, on social media. And it's like, it's just, it's a ripple effect. So if the, if the fans just keep going, you don't know how much it's gonna mean to them that, that uh, to me, I remember a lot of my fans, so like, it'll mean a lot. Oh man, um, off to NXT. Uh, that's what, uh, that's the first time that's actually come out of my mouth. Um, so that's a huge, I like, I felt something when I said that.